Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. One of the most common mistakes we see a lot of tennis players make at all levels is that they are rushing through their shots. And not only through the stroke, but also through the preparation. Now, if we're taking a look at all the professional tennis players out there, if you're watching a tennis match on TV or even live, how many times can you say that you actually saw the beginning of their preparation of their stroke, the beginning of their backswing? Usually you don't. Why? Because you're following the ball and by the time that the ball gets close enough to the player so your eyes focus on the player, you will see that they're already done with their backswing. That's because they're starting so early that they can make it a slow backswing, which is full of control rather than making it a quick backswing last second that forces you to then make mistakes, you know, slight uh, deviations and changes in how the backswing is executed, which then leads to a bigger margin of error when you're hitting the ball over the net. Now, one of the things that we see a lot in this case is, especially on the serve, people tend to rush through their whole execution. So for example, it would look something like this. They're already bouncing the ball very quickly and then they just go very fast up and swing into the ball. Now obviously you can still put the ball inside the court, but it's way more difficult than if you're taking your time with the whole preparation, especially on the serve. There's no ball coming towards you that could potentially put you under time pressure. In this case, the only person that can put time pressure on you is yourself. Okay, so you have to make sure that when you're serving, you know, in a match or even in practice, that you take your time with everything. Slow down the bouncing of the ball, get a feel for it. Slow down your backswing and then explode towards the ball. You don't need a fast backswing to hit a hard shot. Now, if we're taking a look at, you know, the forehand, for example, the same thing goes. If you're moving very hectically and stressed and then last second you do a quick backswing and then swing into the ball, it doesn't really matter how good your execution looks in the end, how good your technique is, the harsh timing that you put on yourself, where you don't have much time because your backswing happens so late, makes it very challenging for you to actually hit the ball in the sweet spot. So most of those players tend to hit way more framed shots than somebody who is calm, smooth and slow in their backswing. Obviously a slow backswing though only works if you do it early. So how do you fix all of this? If you're taking your time for your serve and you're trying to slow down everything to the maximum, it will make it much easier for you to execute your serve in a clean way and hit the ball over the net and inside the box. If we're taking a look at the forehands and backhands, for example, obviously you have to wait until you know which direction the ball is hit in. Some people can anticipate, other people are not so good at that yet, so they have to react to the ball, and that's fine. But that kind of reaction tells you, okay, at this moment I find out I have to hit a forehand, I have to hit a backhand. You can already start with your backswing. Do it slowly, but start early. So as soon as I realize I have to hit a forehand, for example, I will already start with my backswing, move to the ball, and then I can swing without any time pressure and without feeling rushed. That's really the key point to having more calm and elegant shots and looking more like a pro and feeling more like a pro when you're hitting your forehands and backhands. So learn to hit the ball with a lot more of a relaxed nature by not putting so much time pressure on yourself when you're playing, simply by just taking an earlier backswing so you can slow down your backswing until it's time to accelerate towards the ball and then you can really explode. Same thing goes for your serve. Make it a slow backswing all the way until the trophy position and now when you're starting to swing, that's when you're trying to accelerate a lot, not before that. Try to follow this piece of advice and you'll see your tennis will become a lot more calm, you won't waste as much energy, and it will be much easier for you to hit clean shots on the forehand and backhand side, as well as on your serves. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.